Hi guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge book haul and so yeah, let's talk books. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Happy 4th of July weekend. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. Um, you might see a cute little kitty running on the background, so don't mind her. <laughs> That's what she's doing right now. A bit distracting, but let's go to the book haul because I do have a lot of books to share with you. Let me mention this before I move on to share with you the rest of the books because um, I discovered Book of the Month, even though this video is not sponsored by them, I went ahead and signed up for the membership because they had one of the books that I've been waiting for. And everywhere else, the book was like $27 on pre-order. And for Book of the Month, it was it's always $9.99 for your first month. So that's a savings right there. And then it's $14.99 for every month after that. And that's a still a good deal because a lot of these books are like, when they're new release, they're $27 hardcover. So I think even $14.99, it is a good deal. Um, so I went ahead and signed up. And this is the book that I got, which is The Maidens. Now, this was on the June box. Um, I already went ahead and picked my books for July. And another thing that I love about them is even if you want to get more books, all the books after your $14.99 are $9.99. So for this July, I pick one of the books. I'll put it here on the screen so you guys know which one I'm getting. Um, and then I also went ahead and purchased two more that I've been wanting to and they were both $9.99. So that's great. <laughs> Another thing that I really like about them is that if you refer a friend, you get a credit and basically each credit is a new book. So I'm going to put my referral code below. So if you guys decide to join in, you will give me a credit to get a book and then you can do the same with your friends. So yeah, so anyway, going back to the books, this is the one that I chose, which is The Maidens. This is a book by Alex Makatelis. He is the same author of Silent Patient that you saw me reading last month and that book blew me away. So I knew I had to get this one. This is more like a dark academia um, type of setting. I am a couple chapters into this book. I'm just right now... Let's see, I'm on chapter eight. Let me know if you're as excited <laughs> to get this book as I am. Um, so I will do a separate video about the books that I'm reading right now. Going back to the book haul, um, this book right here, The Nature of Witches. This is by Rachel Griffin. I'm gonna go super quick. I'm not gonna go into the synopsis of each book because I do have quite a lot to share with you. But so this is about, of course, witches and magic and self-discovery. And so I really, um, oh, it's just moving my tripod. Oh my goodness, crazy cat. Stop looking. No, no, no. Don't. Just playing with your tripod. I've been wanting to read more like magical mystery books because after I read The House of Salt and Sorrows, I was just like, I really like that combination. Um, and then also let me show you the inside of this book. Look how beautiful it is. Ooh. This next book here is The Sisters of the Winter Wood by Rena Rosner. And so this is another magical fairy tale mystery combination. <laughs> and so yeah, so this is about sisters and how they have like magical powers and they can talk to the animals on the woods. And so yeah, so a good one. And because June is LGBTQ month, I went ahead and picked up these um, oranges are not the only fruit. Now I picked up this last week, so I haven't had a chance to read it yet. But look how gorgeous. This book is really interesting. It's about this woman who is trying to come out and she lives on this very Christian family. The next one that I picked up, again, I was called by the cover um so this is the lucky list this is about this um girl who is trying to finish the bucket list from her mom so her mom passes away from cancer and then as she's cleaning her stuff she finds her bucket list so she's trying to do all the things that um, her mom had on her bucket list and yeah it looks like an amazing like fulfilling type of reading so again another one that i'm excited for i love the cover i think this is going to be a perfect like beach read or um read by the pool which i've been doing a lot this next book here is anxious people by frederick backman i heard so many good reviews about this book so i'm definitely excited to give this a read this is about a 
bank robbery and a lot of self-discovery as well and secrets and so yeah so it looks it looks very interesting then i've been wanting to add more classics into my tbr and i went to my local uh, bookstore and i saw this book that oh my goodness so this is a dracula but look at the cover of this book and now let's look at the back isn't it gorgeous oh my goodness so these are the leaves these are the penguin editions and it is the same i believe edition as my jane air uh, because again these are just so beautiful and i think now i kind of want to like collect all of the classics on these uh, edition set because they're just so so pretty i love the covers um, but of course dracula is a classic i do want to try to read this one in july as well and i have another one that i knew i wanted since the minute <laughs> It was on pre-order now these books once you get them from pre-order they tend to be pretty expensive so i think what i'm gonna do now is like try to get them from book of the month that way you know you can save a little bit more if they have the book or maybe wait until i'm actually ready to read the book uh, but anyway so this is the library of the dead and after reading the midnight library i mean i'm not saying that it's very similar to that really looking forward to the atmospheric part of this book Book, like the description of the library and how gothic is going to be so that's something that i'm so looking forward to again i'm going to try to read this book in july maybe i'll move it to august because i have some books that i'm already reading for july and i want to make sure i finish those before i move to new ones but so this book is by tl hoju um then the next one is actually one that was recommended on one of the comment section on the videos that someone was reading already and so this is the last thing he told me um, by laura dave so one of you commented that you read it and it's really good um and of course it's also a Reese's book club. so this book is about trust it's about mystery it's about family secrets so i'm all for these type of books and then we have more world war ii historical fiction novels so we have the channel sisters retelling of how she survived um, world war ii and created a huge brand after that right so uh, some of the comments say a fascinating look at the rise of fashion's most intriguing icon and so yeah i'm all for it i love chanel so this other book is the last bookshop in london and this is by madeline martin and this is another um historical fiction about world war ii and it just talks about how the books the library here they bring people together they bring so much comfort the power of storytelling so another good one so then the next book here is the woman with the blue star and this is by pam genoff so it's another historical fiction uh, story of survival so then we have here kate queen and this is the rose code and again another one of my types of book so this next book here is when the stars rain down and this is by angela jackson brown and so this is a book about um, like history back in the south on the times of the cuckoo clunks i think that's what they you know the kkk and so yeah so i think this is going to be a good read i always try to read a lot of um those those type of books that you know like kind of teach you and i read the yellow wife last month i think i did uh talk about this book already but this is about slavery and so i think this book will be like a good continuation of knowing like okay after you know like the, the, the faces of history so then this next book is all the children are home and this is by petri francis look how beautiful is the cover and it has that like shine to it like pearl shine so this book talks about this family who host uh foster children and it just seems very sweet and it talks about um like the power of human courage and 
I don't know. I just, I think it's going to be a really sweet so This next book that I have here is Florence Adler Swims Forever. So this book is also about a survival story from, um, you know, from after the war. The war. And um, so basically this family is taking in this girl who immigrated from Germany and after the war from Nazi Germany. And this happens on Atlantic City on 1934. Um, so yeah, so a good one to read so this next book here is malibu rising again look at the amazing refreshing cover on this book and this book is by taylor jenkin Ritz, who is the same author as the seven husbands of evelyn hugo so definitely i had to pick this one up this is also a new release and it already has a great reviews um so i'm excited to get on to this one so then this next book that i have here is actually a thriller so this is local women missing it's i think also um, a new release book and i mean the title says it all um and i've been very into mystery and suspense type of novels so a good one i think um this book is by mary Kubica. The next book here is The Death of Mrs. Westaway and this is by Ruth Ware and I have not read any of her work yet but I've heard so much about The Woman in Cabin 10. It's one of the books that I want to pick up and so I'm excited for this one. I again heard so many good reviews about it. I think it's going to be a five star read so I definitely want to get to this book sooner than later. I think this type of mystery books are actually amazing also for a summer and speaking of mystery so this is the stevens king if it bleeds look at the cover and i love cats but this cat is kind of scary <laughs> and if you look at his nose it's actually a mouse you see that like his eyes are mouse crazy right but anyway so i'm excited for this one i've heard mixed reviews about this book some people love it some people don't like it so much i think this is gonna be another good um summer mystery the next one that i have here is the chestnut man now this is one that's gonna be a um netflix i don't know if series or movie i think it's gonna be a new series uh but this is by the creator of the killing again another mystery novel when something is gonna come out on netflix that seems to be really good like that i like to move ahead with the book and then kind of do you know before i watch the series after i watch the series it's kind of hard for me to go back and read the book so the next book that i have here is the half sister this is by sandy jones i always pick the books that from reese's because i have read so many already and i think that we have very similar tasting books i like the books that she picks so i definitely wanted to um, get this one a go and again i'm very into mystery books so yes perfect mystery i think mystery and summer are a good mix for more mystery we have james patterson lost and again i love everything that's investigation mystery murder mystery type of book and yeah this is one of those then we have some nora roberts shelter in place another uh, mystery thriller type of book with a summary cover then we have one of my favorite <laughs> authors here who is lisa jewel so i found the invisible girl that i have been wanting to read she is the same of course um author as then she was gone and the family upstairs who i recently read and i really really liked so this is another mystery novel and i'm excited to get to this book and i I have the audiobook on hold for this one as well, so that's gonna be great. So this next book here is another super intriguing book for me. This is The Last Flight by Julie Clark. So this is about two um, ladies who kind of find each other on an airport and they both wanted to like escape their lives and they decide to swap places. Um, and unfortunately, one of the airplanes crashes and yeah, then I don't know what happens after that. I mean, they are thinking one is dead, that she replaces the 
other one forever i don't know i'm intrigued about it like i said <laughs> super excited for that one this next book here is neighbors by danielle Steele, and so this book talks about this earthquake that happened and then this lady um, she lives by herself in this mansion and then she invites her neighbors um, to come live with her and then yeah i don't know what happens after that it looks like a mystery type of novel um then i have wild paris select and this is by ruth um drawer it's another like a war survival story and family courage love and all of that that i really like to then read. i have here two books by marilyn robinson i have lila and i have gillet um so there are two more on this series so i'm gonna try to find those two and i think these books talk a lot about um social issues and these are from the oprah's book club so i think those are gonna be a good read so this next book here is uh 400 souls and this says a community history of africa african american 1619 to 2019 so yeah i'm always excited to read about um social issues and again um i think these type of books are really good for like understanding the past so we can build a better future type of book so what i like about this book is that it has a lot of like different things that have happened throughout history for example over here i have um, the virginia law of um, baptism from 1664 to 1669 so i think it's an amazing like compilation of events um all you know talking about the whole black life mothers um revolution it also has um like um like a very dynamic like poetry type of reading within the pages and so yeah so i think i'm gonna try to find the audiobook for this as well the way i can probably try to read it a little bit faster um but look how beautiful here it says compromise by no donica kelly and so it's a beautiful poem in there so it has a lot of research there is a lot of like footnotes and reference references on the back of this book as well so last here this last set of books i think those are beautiful books for um summer read i have the beautiful ones by sylvia moreno garcia look at this beautiful cover she is the same author as mexican gothic that like, i mean trying to read that book i don't have it yet but i think that's another uh good one to add to your tbr so this book here talks about love and like that tangle of unspoken feelings and yeah so then i have love at first look how beautiful this is covered um this cover is just like kind of cheer me up and uh, the beautiful romance books um this is by kate claiborne and so we have that one then i have a cuban girl's guide to tea and tomorrow another beautiful romance novel um and i like that these novels are not just like romance but they also have like different uh plots in there as well and this is by laura taylor namey so another one of reese's book club and the cover is just so pretty uh then i have here you had me um you have a match by emma lord again so cute look at the back love this book fun for uh, the beach then i have hello summer by mary k andrews and this is another one that again just the cover invites me to go to the beach and <laughs> read this book so then we have here jennifer weiner that summer another fun beach read it says on the back the beach read to end all beach reads <laughs> so yeah that looks like a good plan oh my goodness my tower of books is about to fall so um the last one here for romance is one day in december this is by josie silver look how cute is this this is probably more of a cozy winter read and so the last book here that i have to share with you of the last few books is the trilogy this is the hunger games trilogy my daughter recently read uh, the hunger games and so i wanted to get the next two and i actually haven't read any of these so this will be a good uh refresher because i did watch all the movies of course and i love them so whoa, whoa. 
so this just happened on my tower so there you go you guys those are all the books that i have for you i hope that uh, you found some that you are interested in reading and if you do decide to join book of the month please use my referral code that way i can get a credit i hope that you guys enjoyed the video happy 4th of july and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye